Hans University is a university in the northern part of the Netherlands. And the Netherlands, well, for sure, you know, it's between England and Germany, um, Belgium, France, and um, we're close to the German border. And well, as you can see, we're also close to Amsterdam. Only two hours by train or by car, you will be in Amsterdam. And, um, but also just one hour flying uh, from Groningen to London, of course, uh, with uh, if the Corona situation is uh, is over, then we can fly here again. But also close to Bremen, and Bremen has also a big airport where a lot of uh, international flights are uh, going from. And we always say, okay, we're a little bit in the middle of Europe, so you can travel easily to uh, to different uh, places. And um, well, maybe. Um, um, maybe maybe uh, we'll come back later to um, to the to the city. No problem. And now my screen is stuck. Okay. Um, Let's talk a little bit because, well, I think uh, the most of you are already aware of who we are and what we are and what we are doing. Um, the most important thing to tell about our university is that we're the oldest one in the Netherlands at Applied Sciences and that we offer almost all study domains. Most of the programs in Dutch, but also 25 programs are in English, or actually what I always say, our programs are international. And international means that there are international projects, international students, international uh, staff, and that we actually prepare you for a job at the international market. So not focused only on the Netherlands, but international. And well, it was already the question, uh, how many uh, students actually are from, uh, from different nationalities. Well, we have 150 nationalities and at the university we have 30,000 students. And 10, maybe a little bit more, 11, 12% are international. So that means um, in the 25 programs, most of them are in the 25 international programs. And um, um, so that means some of the programs like the master programs, the energy programs, our international business programs, I think they have over 60% international and 40% Dutch. In some Dutch programs like international facility management, there the amount of students are uh, is a little bit more. Um, and, um, and for instance, if you say, okay, we have the Bachelor uh, International Communication, there are, I think, half-half uh, international and Dutch uh, students. Most of our international students are from Germany, that's close by, so they're coming in from Germany, but in the other hand, they're from all different places. And maybe Fiona, you can add it, because you, you started in the Netherlands a few years ago, and, and actually, how was it at the university? Did you feel at home? Um, how was it to work with all these international people? Maybe you can explain a little bit about that. And if you want to, you can do it in Mandarin, then it's uh, that's fine for me, but then just say, give me the floor back when you're ready, okay? Okay, thank you, Annika. Um, 那个跟各位同学讲一下, 我自己念的这个 international communication 我的同学就有来自多达 22个不同的地区跟国家。那里面其实台湾人就有五位,所以其实你你也不会觉得说哦很可能很lonely,你只有你一个台湾同学,然后其实是非常的有不同多元的文化在这个城市里面,所以我觉得嗯是一个很好的
呃，你的你的生活、你的住宿的地方、你的学校的地方，其实都是呃多元的文化，所以我觉得其实是一个蛮好的生活的体验。Yeah. 那 Yeah, I finished my part, Annika. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you for ex ex explaining about your experience uh, in uh, at Hansa. And uh, maybe I just want to add something that uh, uh, that we're very proud of because uh, we are actually focusing a lot at the University of Applied Science, uh, Hans University, of entrepreneurship. We have actually three topics we um, uh, we focus on: that's energy, healthy aging, and entrepreneurship. And that is actually in all programs you will you will get these topics. So you will see that these topics will be involved. And uh, we're really proud of that from uh, a ranking of U multi rank. That's an international uh, a ranking uh, about entrepreneurship. We're the fifth best of starting um, companies, uh, so startups, immediately after graduation. So a lot of students start their own business immediately after graduating. So that means actually they already started during their studies. At Hansi, you will get the opportunity. To start already um, working, to start already um, your career uh, during your studies, and maybe that's also good that uh, we will come back later on uh, it again. But there was a question about the career services. Well, actually, your career service starts now. You know, actually, with networking, uh, with how to get into uh, in the field, how to learn, uh, how to get contact with people. We do attend it a lot and it will come back. But I always say, yeah, actually, it starts now. Now you know me. Now you know Fiona. We are at Hansa. You never know. Your network starts already. Um, I think at the moment we're in the in the in the uh, uh, Corona pandemic. And yeah, I yeah, I think I hope I really hope that in September or October that it that's in autumn, it will be completely different that we're all vaccinated that we can just say okay this was a really worst period of uh, of the last decade. And uh, but we're over it, but for now, I never can I can predict it and uh, last year I thought the same so it was completely different, but for now we have good hope that it will be fine, but I think it's good to tell something about what we. Uh, how we solve the online offline um, uh, situation because in the Netherlands um, universities were not closed but we were recommended to do as less uh, as much as possible stay at home so a lot of um, um, classes are thought uh, online well probably you're also uh, used to that and uh, but we try to see all the students at least once a week uh, because we think it's so important that students meet teachers that students meet each other um fiona can you explain a little bit how was it for you the last year to study how did you did you actually go to the university did you visit it or was it all um just very limited for you okay um, 就是疫情在就是去年三月的时候，就是荷兰就是就是封城。那其实就是从三月之后，我们就是全部改线上的课程。所以呃，你就是说你你所有的 lecture 就是都是 online， 就是对。可是呃，比如说学校的图书馆是有限制的开放，就是说呃，你可以在你可以上网去预约你你要去的那个时间，然后去借还书或者是。呃，学学校也会考量到，就是说，呃，因为是线上上课，可是还是有这个考试交作业的时间。那有的学生可能真的不适合在自己的宿舍念书，就是可能环境的关系，所以学校其实还是会有提供这个 silent study place 给学生。那你就是上网去登记，那就是还是有些空间可以让你使用，可是你就是没有办法去上课。上课的部分就是完全是线上，那这些设施就是有限制的开放，大概是这个样子。Yes, I uh, introduced my uh, experience for for them already, Annika. Good. Well, and just to add, I hope it will be back to normal in uh, in in September or in autumn at least. Because what we want you to show. Yeah, because I'm asking him to give me. Okay. 
Uh, I hear some other sounds. Somebody can mute his uh, uh, mic or is it a question? Annika is another question. I have already uh, muted this uh, uh, okay. student. Good. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no problem. But the, the main thing is I, I only see my, my screen, so I don't see the, the, the venue. So that's uh, so that's why I asked uh, what is it about. Um, as I mentioned, what I actually, um, the situation, I hope it will be normal that we can get you into this what we are really uh, applying or what we are really teaching and learning you because at Hans University of Applied Sciences, we are an applied science. So actually we prepare you for a profession and we prepare you for an international um, uh, uh, orientated job. And we actually, we expect also things for you. We do a lot, but we also expect a lot from you because you're the one, the student, so you have to make your the, the program and we will offer you the program. We will offer you all kinds of, uh, of opportunities to, um, to improve yourself. And, uh, but you have to be the one who, uh, who has to do it and has to take all the opportunities um, uh, what we offer. And actually the main thing of this slide is that we want to show you that there are so many things uh, except from only sitting in the classroom and doing your lectures, uh, we give you a lot of opportunities to see the outside of the world or the working field. And there was a question about the career service. Well, I said it starts now, but it starts already at the first day of your, um, of your program. And it starts with that we work a lot in groups, um, in international groups. We work with uh, real life businesses. Um, we will help you uh, preparing you for your uh, internship. So that means uh, uh, how to apply even uh, with uh, CVs and resumes, all these kind of things. But we mostly help you to get out of your comfort zone, see what's outside the university and work and get uh, knowledge that's not teached only in the classroom, but also outside. So we also um, encourage our students to do volunteering work or to get uh, to do projects and um, and of course in our bachelor programs all students will have an, a mandatory internship and that can be also done abroad. Um, we have a big network of um, of universities and companies but you have to apply it for yourself so that's an active approach and um, if you're studying for four years or if you're studying for one year or one and a half or two, uh, all is about, okay, you are the one who wants to get the profession and you uh, can learn a lot and we offer and help you and coach you into that. And maybe Fiona, uh, you can explain a little bit more about projects or what it means for you to get out of the comfort zone and actually what we always say, what it means for you, our motto, share your talent, move the world. Maybe you can explain a little bit uh, more about your projects as well. Yes, sure. Uh, thank you, Annika. Um, 就是跟同学分享一下, 呃，刚刚讲的跳脱舒适圈这件事情，我觉得呃，我在汉斯上课的时候，我觉得不像传统，我在台湾所受到的教育就是说，哎，其实是以学生为主体，就是说今天这堂课老师就是跟你讲说，
他有这个需求，那他想要请我们提供给他的一个 communication strategy， 那我们就呃把这个客户的需求，然后就是当做这我们这个 assignment 就是在解决这个客户的需求。那我们一样会分小组，因为我举一个例子，就是说今天这个客户他是做这个呃。呃，线上的啤酒的精酿啤酒的公司，好，那他想要拓展他的市场到英国、到法国、到意大利、到德国这些市场，他都想要拓。可是这些国家的其实他们的呃文化啦、背景其实都不一样，虽然都是欧洲，但是其实是不一样的。那所以你要针对不同的这个国家跟地区，你要去给予不一样的就是呃沟通的策略跟建议。那所以，我们每一个小组就会被分配到一个国家，然后你就要去做这样的建议。那我觉得这个很好，是你其实就是实际的跟呃公司的需求还有产业去做结合。那你结束完这个 project 之后，客户会到就是可能学校或者是客户的公司，然后去听你的简报，他就会当下给你他的建议，或者是他觉得哎呃他想要再了解什么样的部分。那我觉得这个是很贴近就是呃现实面，他他不是只是你做做。呃，功课这样子，那还有讲到这个呃 ，volunteer 这个工作，其实我也有参与，就是说，哎、欸，学校它会有一些计划，然后你你这当然就是自愿去参加，那你去参加，你可能就会呃，认识到可能不一样的呃，校内或校外的资源，那但是你自己就是要衡量说，哎、欸，呃，你你有没有办法去兼顾这些跟你的课业或者是你其他的一些这样的生活？但是我觉得多去参与就是去呃。去 open up 就是 expand 就是拓展你的这个 network， 我觉得这是一个很好，就是融入呃这个学生生活，或是说是对。我想要问一下，那个你刚说 international project， 这个是只有 international communication 的呃这个系所有，这个活动吗？呃，我的这个系是这样，但我认为汉斯因为它是走应用科技。所以我觉得理论上其他的科系应该也会有这样子的一个规划，还是说我们要问一下阿那克？呃，阿那克 ？Yes. Yeah, are you there? Uh, there is a student. Um, uh, she's curious because I mentioned about the uh capstone project I work uh in my international communication program in my MIC program, and she's curious about um other Department, they also have this kind of international project group, or or it's just only for meat. Anika. Um. Well, I I think this capstone project, but that might be only uh for the meat. But um, maybe to explain that all programs will have will work on this international. It will have international projects. Um, so you, um, um, well, maybe, uh, so maybe you explained a little bit about the the mix as well that you work in in the, in the project group as well. And um, if I continue very fast to this, um, for other uh, programs, we have um, research centers um, in which company programs, students, teachers, staff work together on projects. And that's, so that's our actually projects the companies bring in. So they need to do research, they ask for research and in a group of students. And sometimes it might, you can uh, in, a, in a perfect together, to uh, to find uh, um, to find a solution on uh, on, a, on a, in a project, and uh, also the startup city center is really based on projects on uh, programs working together. So uh, if we talk about um, the bachelor's programs, well, for sure there are a lot of uh, projects. Um, and with some time online via uh, as many companies, and uh, but it will be always in cooperation with a project uh, with a, a company. Does that explain a little bit more about it? Yes, thank you, Annika. 
Okay, good. Then maybe I can also add um, uh, your story about what you said. Okay, you do the projects. When do you do the projects? Um, um, just to explain a little bit about how the programs are uh, are organized, and let's say if this is more for the for the uh, bachelor programs. Uh, a year is actually divided in two semesters and for the masters sometimes it's, it's two semesters and for bachelors they sometimes make it four blocks and as you can see here that uh, we divided this block will take nine weeks so semester uh, will actually take uh, the double uh, weeks and first of all you work on theory on small projects assignments um, uh, do the research uh, so more um, information and theoretical based in the seven weeks and then there will be exams afterwards so don't worry there will be exams you have to learn you have to read your books because sometimes people think okay it's only working in projects and in practical uh, things now it's also theory but the exam can be also that you present your results of a um, of your project and every semester or block uh, we will have a central topic so actually the project is a central thing and all the theory is around it if i say um for for instance for um for game design the first project uh, so for the game the first project will be that you have in a group create a really uh, basic um uh, project or a game for a, a, a primary school children well then you have to first to do research you have to lead, read the theory and then you have to make it and in the end of that uh, you present it so then actually you will get your uh, your results and all the theory is actually combined and is related to your project so actually what you're learning you immediately apply it in a project so that will make it a much more easier to um, to, to get all the uh, all the theory as well and um what we do is that we we offer you classes um but that will be limited um i i give an example so this is not this is not how it looks for every program and this is actually not how it looks the whole year because your program actually this is your calendar it will change every week and um you see the green blocks are scheduled classes and uh, you see that there, are, yeah, there are also a lot of white uh, uh, spaces, and these are no scheduled classes. But we expect you that you will do your projects, that you will um, uh, do your homework, your home studies, that you will go for um, uh, for um, excursions, that you will get your practice. So you should plan your own time also a little bit. And um, as you can see on the right one there's actually a whole wednesday where there are no classes uh, oh people say oh can i have a job or can i go somewhere else or can i have a holiday no actually we expect you to plan your own studies so it yeah it depends a little bit for most of the bachelor students this is yeah they have to get used to it so in the beginning we will guide you a little bit to it and for the masters i think you are uh, mature enough to do it yourself as well but it takes some planning and we will guide you through this we will help you but it's your planning um, I already mentioned these, um, these uh, 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 practical uh, research laboratories, and I must say, we are especially the energy. Energy is not only a topic of our university, but also from the research university in the city and also of the municipality. So there is a lot of attention to energy. And then I actually, I must say energy transition because that covers all. Um, but there are also other programs, not only energy related, um, but there are also other programs. I will go through them uh, quickly. Um, I think if you need some, I don't want to go in depth in all these programs because that will be too much. Uh, but if you have any other, uh, if you have any specific questions, we can do it afterwards, or you can uh, can talk to uh, uh, Mr. Dill Wu as well, also uh, about that. Um, our art department is, is, is one of the biggest international departments and we have bachelor programs and we have master programs and um, uh, design, fine arts and our music departments is, uh, is famous. There are not that many music uh, 
conservatoires in the Netherlands, and uh, we have a good amount of international uh, programs as well. Our business programs, there are a lot. Uh, the international business is actually the general one, so be a general manager and manager of the department. Uh, um, and, um, but there are also some related uh, business programs like facility management or the finance or marketing management, then actually you're more focused on a specific part of, uh, of business and, and management. And for the masters, actually, that's the same. Our MBA and our international business and management, they make you of their work on to uh, get you up to a strategic level and, uh, and work on more strategic uh, programs and, uh, and topics and, and projects as well. And um, our energy uh, programs, actually, the first one, the energy for society, that's actually more the, um, I always say we have three steps in energy, and we have um, the energy for society is the one who's focusing on the people, the, like you and me, and you know, we have energy transition, we have new energy, but why don't we use it? So we should be informed, we should be advised, we should be, um, there's, uh, should be, there's more the communication part of it. And the European Master of Sustainable Energy and System Management is more related to companies and how to do the transition from old to new and, and to do renewable energy. Because yeah, technical wise, we can make everything, but how do we do this? So how do we make the business plans? How do we make the law? Um, how do we change the law and all kinds of restrictions? And in the Netherlands, I must say, we have a lot of restrictions for, uh, for uh, renewable energy. So there should be people who are really involved in that to help the businesses to make the transition to renewable energy. Uh, in health, we have only the bachelor programs, physiotherapy and sports studies. In communication, well, we have the uh, Master of International Communication, the program uh, Fiona just graduated uh, this year, or actually this month, I think last month. And um, we have two bachelor programs, the International Communication four-year program and the Creative Media and Game Technology. And I think uh, one in the venue has already applied for this. It's also a four-year program based on, okay, uh, games, more, actually, I must say more uh, serious games. Of course, there are a lot of fun games, but gaming is more than only fun. It's also the serious games, not only educational games, but also, um, um, uh, I forgot the word, um, well, I will come back to it later. I keep it on my. I keep it on mind. Um, for engineering, I already mentioned the master of uh, renewable energy, and we have also a bachelor's in engineering, mechanical engineering, and central technology. Um, well, again, um, today we'll not go in depth, but there will be a lot of opportunities to get more information about these programs if you if you really need that uh, afterwards. No problem. Uh, just go through, there were a few uh, people who were interested for bachelor programs, the, um, the requirements, yeah, they're in general, I would say the high school diploma of the international school diploma will be give access to the uh, four year bachelor programs, depends a little bit on your program, so I always say, okay, when you upload, we will uh, check your diploma individually and uh, evaluate it, and then we will give you, inform you if you can be uh, accepted. All programs have language requirements, and um, for the bachelor programs, it's IELTS or TOEFL for IELTS 6.0. And, um, and uh, for sure, I know, you know for sure that you had to learn English. Um, and, but I really want to say, okay, please start doing the exams on time. Don't wait till May or June for your IELTS exam because my experience is that if you don't pass all the four uh, uh, topics, you have to resit for one of them, you probably will be too late to apply because your language requirements should be in before the 1st of July, before we continue the, um, um, the admission process. So please start in time. And actually that's the same for all the other things, start in time, looking at the requirements, looking at the deadlines. 
and also that's also what is for the um, for the for the master programs because uh, that's even more general what I can say because for every master program at least you need uh, a relevant bachelor's degree except for the MBA that might be also working experience will be fine um, and it's hard to say now okay what is relevant um, there should be um, um, the same topics in it that should be in the same field but sometimes you can do um, um, and you can have different bachelors it's not that you can only in the international business come start with an international business uh, bachelor degree or in communication only with communication there are other possibilities but again depending on program and beginning and depending on your um, your bachelor background uh, English is more, um, most of the programs ask 6.5 for IELTS, some 6.0, but be aware, most 6.5, and again, um, uh, start on time. And for most of the master degree programs, you will also uh, will be invited to send in a portfolio or audition for art programs, but also uh, an interview or a motivation letter might be part of the, of the selection procedure. Um, yeah, to get into the uh, to the the really basic facts um, about application, there is in the Netherlands one database where you can apply for all the programs. That's really nice. You just have to upload or you have to make an account, and that's called in StudyLink, the first one uh, mentioned on the left. And you make an account, you apply uh, for the university and uh, for your program, and then you will be sent forward to the application process of the university. And uh, we just heard in the in the beginning that um, um, uh, from from one of the students that you were admitted already, so accepted, so you applied, you were accepted already. I understand. And now it's a silence, and that's yeah. That might be that might be okay because silence doesn't mean everything is in. Um, when you apply, we will check your diploma if you will be um, eligible for this program. And most of you probably will do not have the diploma yet uh, because you will get it in June or July. So that means that um, we will check your grade list and see, okay, if you promise to, um, 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 to, uh, to graduate, you will be accepted. Then we will send you a letter of provisional acceptance. And the provisional accepted means, okay, you only have to upload all the needed documents, then you will be accepted. Um, can be also that your language, um, uh, test is of your diploma is not in you can also upload it later but based on what you expect what what you expect that you will have you will be provisionally accepted um and actually that that's it and for a lot of bachelor programs in the masters we will have probably a little bit more contact because that's our more individual um, uh, application but most of our bachelor programs, if you don't have to do a um, um, port send in a portfolio or a selection, we will accept you based on your diploma. And that's in the Netherlands, very common. Um, we don't look at the grades. Um, we, we don't look at your other motivation or experience. We just, uh, the Dutch government just thinks, okay, if you have your diploma, you will be able to start studying in the Netherlands. So that means if you have uploaded anything, you will probably hear for a while, you will hear nothing because then everything is going on. And when you have to start uploading the other things and when you have to start your immigration process, well, then we will get in contact with you, uh, with you again. Um, as mentioned, we say, okay, you Students always say to me, hey, Annika, it's easy to get in because, yeah, you just upload your diplomas, you will be accepted, uh, you uh, your, your graduate, and then you can, uh, well, of course, then the immigration process starts for most of you. Um, but then actually you can start. It's so easy to get in. Yeah, it might be easy, but students also say to me, it's hard to stay in because what we, uh, we actually do is that we think the first year 
you will get the opportunity to prove that we trusted you that your diploma will be fine. So you have to prove that you can uh, that you can stay in the program. Um, you need to get a minimum of credits you can get. So that's how we look. Okay, if you're ready, if you get the minimum of credits, you can continue your studies. If not, you have to stop the program. So actually, the selection is less or more in the first year, and it's not a real selection because we do not want to get people get out because the the minimum credits or the minimum grades is okay, it's doable, but it's just a check. Okay, we trusted you that we let you in in this easy way, and now please continue your studies. I hope that explains a little bit about the application process. And in the meantime, you all read and uh, stared at the screen and saw about the tuition fees and, uh, and the scholarships. Um, well, the only thing I would say, um, make a budget plan and start early your application. That's really, really, really important. Um, are you still there all? Fiona, um, you are the one I want, I want to switch to Groningen. If there are any uh, questions about the previous one, we can do it uh, afterwards. Um, I would start to, uh, I will continue to go to, to Groningen, tell a little bit uh, about, this, uh, about this beautiful student city. Um, <clears throat> there was the, the, the question uh, in the beginning, how many help centers is the uh, amount of international students? Well, just to see, uh, to give another percentage, um, we are a city with 230,000 uh, 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 people and more than 60,000 are students. So 6,000 also, for, we have another big university, 10% also, I think more, maybe six, seven, maybe even 10 of the 60,000 are international students. And that means actually one of four is a student. Um, sometimes it looks like a big campus because there are so many students uh, all over the city. And um, we are ranked as a good student city, um, not only uh, sports, not only, of course, the quality of, uh, of education is, is highly ranked. Uh, our research university has also really highly ranked uh, international uh, uh, rankings. And, uh, but we also have, because we have so many students, uh, a lot of facilities and, <clears throat> sorry, and a lot of associations where students can go. And well, <clears throat> to be honest, and also my, my voice is a little bit going. Uh, so Fiona, will you take over and explain what was your, actually, what was your first impression when you came to Groningen? What was actually the most, uh, the first thing that you thought when you came into the city and how, well, how is the city for you and how is the city for you as a student? Okay, thank you, Annika. Uh... 一开始到呃，Kronian这个城市的时候，觉得就是一个一下火车就觉得就是一个很很舒服的城市，但是刚好那天天天气也蛮好。那我觉得交通很便利，因为从火车站到呃住的地方可能就是公车的班次还蛮
也蛮多，就是可能一些老老呃长辈，我觉得就是都很 nice。然后你去市集，因为红里很这个市中心有 r i s market， 然后不是每天，好像我记得是二五六，然后早上的时候开始，然后你去买东西的时候，有时候老板也会很有趣，他就会跟你讲，比如说我要买蛋和 I want six eggs， 然后他就会告诉你说，就是 egg 的荷兰文是 i d e n 然后就是就是告诉你，就是有点告诉你说，哎，其实你可以学一些很有。呃，去呃不是很有趣，就是从一些小单词开始认识呃荷兰文之类，所以我觉得这是一个蛮 friendly 的的城市，所以对不不会太无聊，对对。OK， I I think I、uh, introduce my、um, impression of Hongyuan to、uh, students here, Anika. Yeah, that's good. And maybe you also want to talk about housing because we also had the question、uh, in the beginning and uh, uh, maybe. I can I can start explaining that that Hansa is not、uh, offering any dorms.、Uh, we are our core business is education and not real estate. So we don't have in the Netherlands hardly、uh, universities have dorms close to the university or at the university campus. But we we offer you something. We don't you don't have to do it yourself. We have a partner who is really、uh, in into the real estate into.、Um, Into rooms, and you can book a room online、uh, for a first year. Fiona will later explain how how she did it,、uh, but there are opportunities to do、uh, to find a room online.、Um, as you saw in the previous uh, uh, slide, there are really many many students. We have many many houses, but of rooms, but it's sometimes a little bit difficult to find. So the only thing I would say is start on time. And、uh, and then probably you will be well living on this nice attic as we see the the picture in top on the attic、uh, just behind this small window or maybe below in the student hotel that's all possible, and and maybe you can add something about this for the housing、um, uh, Fiona where do you live and 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 how did you arrange it so give give some tips for、uh, for people who are really looking for、uh, for twenty one. Yes, for sure, Anika. Um, 我自己住的，就是我是选就是 S S S， 因为它是跟学校合作的。就是像 Anika 讲，其实学校并没有宿舍。那可是呃，红年的这个城市，它就会有很多的，就是呃 ，student accommodation。那这个是跟学校合作，所以我当初是选这个。那就是像 Anika 讲的，你要提早去注册。然后，呃，这个 S S H 它在 h o n i a n 会有不同的 building， 所以你可以选，它会告诉你说这个 building 可能在，呃，离学校多远，或是离市中心多远，你可以自己决定。那有一些它可能会有一些条件，就是说这些可能只给交换生住，因为交换生住好像只有六个月，然后这些可能只给呃 bachelor 或是 master， 它有一些条件限制，但是它在 h o n i a n 是不主动的这个 accommodation。那当然不是说你一定只能选这个，只是说。我选这个是我觉得它比较保险，因为它是跟学校合作，所以你你不会就是会有那些，因为你在外面租房，你比较容易可能会跟房东可能你要你要核对一些东西。因为我想我们毕竟是外国人，那我觉得比较好保险的方式是这个，那这个就是要早一点去登记。那当然，我的其他台湾同学有的人是住这个，那有的人是自己在外面找，所以呃管道方式很多，那可是就真的要呃提早去找，因为其实就是。我们刚刚他前面的 slide 有讲到，你看这个城市这么多的国际学生，不是只有我们台湾的学生需要有房源住，很多欧洲的学生其实他们也都很早就在开始找房子住，所以其实呃这块部分可能如果真的有想要过去的话，就是要先先有，就是要赶快先有一个，对，因为这个真的还蛮重要的，这个的。呃，有的人是远端找，就是呃，因为现在呃也有一些，他是可以让你就是线上看房的，对，可是你自己就是可能其实要小心，因为有时候可能他可能会避掉一些不让你知道的东西，所以就是你可以你是可以线上看房的。那那像比如说呃 ，S S H 它其实里面的房型有就是呃。一个人有卫浴跟厨房的 studio， 那那个当然是价位最高的。那我住的是呃 share flat， 就是我有自己的卫浴，但是我的厨房是跟室友共用。那我们那个 flat 有八个室友，所以我是跟七个人一起共用一个厨房。那好像我记得好像还有一种是共用浴室跟厨房的，那那个应该是最便宜的
，所以就是看你自己，因为也会牵涉到预算的需求，因为每个人的状况不一样，有的人他就是什么都不想跟人家共用，那他就是自己一间 studio， 那那个价位当然会比较高，所以这个都是呃你要去之前可能要列入考量的一个部分，因为它是牵涉到你的生活费。那前面讲到的你的 finance 需要做一个 budget plan， 所以这个都是会列入考量。那你也可以。你不想住这个 S S S， 你要自己在外面找，那就是主要去留意一下它的一些细节。那要记得就是 S H S S F 它的合约，它只给一年，你也不能延长，因为因为它我我觉得这个用意可能也是说，它可能假设你来了这个你来这个城市一年之后，如果你想要继续留下去，你理论上你应该已经知道要怎么找房子了，所以它这个都是给来这边第一年念书的人。所以像我二零一九去嘛，那我的合约其实是二零二零的七月底就到期了，你就是绝对是不能续约的。那所以我就要在可能三四月、五月的时候，我们就真的开始要找，呃，接下来要住的地方，因为我还要继续留在那边完成我的论文或什么之类的。那你就要提早赶快找住的地方，然后赶快就是有一个对，就是就像我讲，就是要要赶快，因为不是只有我们是要找房子，大概是这样。还有我想要问什么？你刚刚好像我特别想要问好奇的问题，有没有？有差不多有回答到你的问题。OK， 好。呃、uh, ，Anika， I think we uh, uh, talk about housing and I think that's it. I also、uh, reply the answer the questions they have. Yeah. Well, good, good. I think you also talk a little bit about the housing that is spread over there over the city.、Um, Uh, in this, in this, this is actually the map of of the city, and、uh, in the middle you see the city center, and there the purple dots are all international houses or houses where international students live. And、um, uh, on top of it, in the north, actually there is our main university campus, but we also have、uh, university buildings in the city center、uh, for our health or art programs. And the research university also、um, is located in different places all over the over the city. And、um, well,、uh, did you already mention something about the bicycles,、um, uh, Fiona? Because just to add some information about the distance and what we do, when you actually live in the south,、um, where you see this this only lonely、uh, spot that's actually very close to my house, and when you work and or study in the north,、uh, by bus or by bicycle, half an hour you will be there. So it's not that that far at、uh, at all. Even in winter, when snow or rain, it's half an hour.、Um, And maybe also、uh, you mentioned a little bit about about the cost. I heard budget plan, so maybe you said that um, um,、uh, the housing is is part of the budget plan. And、um, I only can can add to that before starting、uh, studying abroad. And it doesn't matter if you do it at Hansa also or in another country or in another city. Please make a budget plan because it can be different from what you're used to. And、uh, what is your experience about the cost of living,、uh, Fiona? Uh, yes. Um, 跟各位可能就分享一下，因为这边他把它区分不同的类别。那呃，我我自己觉得一个懒人的。制定预算的方法就是，就是真的是懒人，就是你一个月的生活费就是抓一千欧元上上下，不是说也就是你你用这个标准，因为比如说我自己住 S S H， 我刚刚讲我是呃自己的卫浴共用厨房嘛，那我这样子的一个月的，我那时候二零一九的房租是五百二十六块五百三，我们抓五百三好了。那你就是剩下的四百七，就是你的这个生活费，然后就是包含了你这个去超市，你的就是 grocery shopping 其实就是最大众，然后看你的交通费，交通费，呃，你如果搭公车，可能你这个就是可以抓得出来那个是多少钱。那你如果是脚踏车的话，你一开始其实也是要，不管是买一台新的或是二手，那也是一开始你要抓的那个预算在里面，那就是你看你自己去分配那。就是他就是列了这样讲，所以我觉得抓一千块是是是懒人。然后你看看你自己怎么样去规划，因为比如说你可能可以吃的很省，那你如果去外面餐厅吃，一定是比自己住的
就是要贵一些。那偶尔有时候可能同学是要去 hang out 或什么去酒吧，这些你可能都要列入考量。所以我自己来的方法是抓一千。可是这都不包含你，如果还要再额外去哪里玩，去 shopping 或什么，因为这个真的是很看个人。对，那如果你是住那种，呃，就是跟室友共用浴室跟厨房，那个都房租会更便宜，那可能到三四百欧。对，可是你自己就要考量说你能不能接受这样子的状况，因为其实，呃，有时候室友就是来，我刚刚讲他是很多元的城市嘛，来自不同的地区跟国家，有时候这个室友就是一个硬气。你能不能接受？就是这一些，你们可能就是，呃，会建议你们可能会把它列入考量，然后去做一个这样子的 budget plan 的这个一个规划。对。Yes, Annika, I、uh, share my experience to students here. Well, nice, nice to hear. And、uh, yeah, and and yeah, you probably also mentioned that there is、uh, about food and about、uh, the, the groceries, and that you can、uh, cook your own meal and、uh, with different. Uh, uh, well, of course, there are be different、uh, groceries and different、uh, vegetables and so on. But maybe you didn't add because it's just very new.、Uh, last、uh, Saturday, we opened or someone opened a bubble tea shop in Groningen. So that's new, and it's、uh, it's a really nice. You can buy bubble tea as if you are in、uh, in Taiwan. So that's really uh, uh, a good add, good to add, I think. And、uh, that brings me actually, if there are、um, any not any questions anymore about this this part of of budgeting and about Groningen,、um, again, please be aware of what's all coming. Arrange things、uh, early and、uh, arrange things.、Um, Properly、uh, in case of finance and housing、uh, as well.、Um, brings me to a little bit another topic:、uh, what to do next. And and as you are all in different、uh, in different stages, some of you have already applied, some of you are already admitted. So the information need might be might be different.、Um, but the advantages of this Corona、uh, situation is that. All kind of events or informations are online, so you can get a bunch of information finding on a website and all different、um, uh, topics. And、um, in the beginning, we started with that you need to be active and that you work on your、um, on your career already uh, uh, from day one. But I always say, okay, start your network right now. Because if you have que questions and you contact our student team, you never know what、uh, what contact that will be. Maybe、uh, at least you know someone、uh, when you arrive in in Groningen, and、um, well, you never know. Maybe he or she is just leaving his room, and you can、uh, get into it. So start、uh, start meeting people, start meeting teachers, visit open days.、Uh, Um, visit webinars. We will also give some、uh, general webinars. And what I saw in these webinars already later on, we will have some more webinars for applicants as well. That I see that people are just、uh, connecting in the chat. Hey, are you studying also next year? Well, maybe. So start connecting、uh, online from day one, and ask for help if you really need one. That's probably a really a Dutch、um, attitude, but we're really fond of asking questions. Um, um, might be diff difficult sometimes. You might be shy, but there are no silly questions, and we're really helpful to answer them. All universities have、uh, study choice advisors, have students who want to help, program managers. So ask your questions, and、uh, and and we'll be there for you. And also,、uh, of course, online. No problem. You can find us. You can see, start seeing movies. There's a lot of online um, uh, uh, films and movies already at the YouTube channel or our own uh, uh, website. Get as much as information, and then make up your mind. And if you think, okay, this is the challenge I want to take, and this is where I want to study next year or the year after, then you're welcome. Actually, you're more than welcome、uh, to join us. So I would say maybe maybe just end here the the official part of the presentation. So more the informative part.